Welcome back, chaps and chapettes. Yeah, indeed, we got another fun-filled instalment of Punch Club. A continuation, and this time, Matthew, as promised, we will we will go to Russia. Oh, awesome. Yeah, I'm looking <laughs> forward to that. Uh, let's see if we can... Yay, let's beat a man up first. Just to yeah. start the day with a bit of, bit of bruising. So, from what I understand, you basically go into this man's gym, pay him $20... For him to let you, more or less, yeah, kick the shit out of him, yeah, I, on I'm a glad, daily I, basis. I'm glad you said more or less, but yes, that is our relationship with Silver. Right. We we started off just doing a little sparring, but yeah, now we just beat him up on a daily basis. I feel bad for him. Yeah, I know. He's just trying to feed his kids. <laughs> his wife's obviously cheating on him. Of course she is. With us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what we do off screen after every episode. I meant us as in Chet Manley, the game character. Yeah, yeah, I meant that too. Oh, like, okay. As I soon see. as we hit, as soon as we stop recording, that's what we do. Chet's off. Yeah. Bit of Silver's house banging his missus. Oh, we didn't, we didn't KO him. That's, that's disappointing. Have we got enough for another skill. Yeah. Yay! Yeah. That's exciting. What are we having? Uh, cutthroat. Okay, cool. What was that? So do? that's a better version of the move that we're using at the moment. Oh, well, that's exciting. And then. Demoralise. Oh well, that's just good. Yeah, that's just really good. Yeah, I mean, it's, yeah, yeah. I want my re- opponent's damage reduced by twenty uh, percent. That seems like a very wise. It's investment. a powerful passive in any game, really, isn't it? Yeah. Right. yeah. Uh, well, we've got loads of money. Yeah, we do. I don't think muggers dare come near us. No, probably not. That's a thing, isn't it? You were telling me that. Yeah, if you're too hard, then they just they leave you. They don't bother. Do you? Fair enough. Uh, I have no idea what we were training, so let's start with the, uh, the risk. Gun. Well, that seems fully efficient. I'll do. Nice. Right, so, I know it's early, but I've got a topic. I think Ooh, it's going to okay. be a doozy. Alright. <clears throat> uh, so, uh, Total Biscuits done a WT- WTF Gears Punch Club. I have watched that video. I watched uh, it last night. This is very interesting, then. Uh, I watched half of it. Uh, last night, and while I was in bed, and then the other half this morning while I was getting ready for work. Yes. So, uh, I mean, as you probably have guessed, I have some strong disagreements. Well, with, so uh, spoilers if you haven't seen the Total Biscuit video. He hates this game, and goes to length to explain why. Now, I had a feeling you're right. I had a feeling you would disagree. Mm-hmm. Um, so what I've done is I've made some notes. Oh, good. About things that. I disagree with him on having watched. I don't, I've never played this game, but having watched you, I can, I can understand the appeal, yeah, of the game more than I could at the beginning. And I think mm, uh, the old Total Biscuit there has slightly uh, misrepresented the game. He has. He's, he's misunderstood the game. I think is what's happened, and that's led to him playing like a nonce, <laughs> and therefore not enjoying the experience. You can't call him a nonce. His Hearthstone videos are awesome. I do like his Hearthstone videos. I suppose he still could be a nonce and make good Hearthstone videos. He is a nonce, and he does make good Hearthstone videos. <laughs> okay. so that is, well, I'm that glad is we've strange. established that yeah. now. <laughs> right, so I've made some notes, so I'm just going to go through <clears throat> some of the points that I disagreed with him on. Okay. Uh, well, first, less a disagreement, more just a... I think an indication about uh, that he may not be playing this game as it's intended to be played. Right. Uh, in the... Well, I'll just quote my notes. State of your stats, mate. To borrow a phrase from the OSW, lads. I remember them being very low. Well, I've written them down. Good. <laughs> At the beginning of, this, of, of his video, his stats... In the order that you see him on screens, so the strength, agility, stamina, yep, are four, one, and five. Okay, uh, what day is he on? About the same as us, like forty odd. Yeah, I think when he started it was forty-one. I didn't write that down, but I remember noting it and thinking that was close to where we were. <laughs> I think he was about he was four, one, and five. So I mean, he does kind of go into the. He has played it on the phone apparently as well, and he says he completed the game on that, and his stats were a lot better at that point. Uh, when he finished it, it was like 15, 12, uh, sorry, 15 stamina, 12 strength, and 5 or 6 agility. I'd love to hear what day count he was on. Well, I mean, probably many, many thousands. <laughs> <I> <laughs> how mean, if, how if, has he only got one agility I, I, at that I point? I don't know. I 
I don't know, Nick. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway. Um, so yeah, that's more just a passing comment rather than a, a thing to discuss. But the next one that I think you are going to kick off about... But, if you but hold on. This. Before oh. you do, I okay. want to just, for the viewers, do a comparison of his stats versus ours. You say they were, what, 415? 415, yeah. So his total is 10. I will double check myself, but I'm pretty sure they were 415. Oh, oh God. At the beginning of the video, they were even worse. They were 413. What day count? What day? 41. My God. 413. Yeah. That's a total of eight maths fans. Yep. And we're on 23. <laughs> we? I mean, I hope, yeah, we are. Get one more level up and we've tripled them. I mean, no wonder he hates it. I'd hate it if my stats were 413. I, yeah, I, I don't think I could have sat through this. Thank God you're better at the game than he is, that's all I can <laughs> exactly, say. Exactly, you've been I'd getting a bit bored while I've been doing it. Yeah. I'd have literally <laughs> strangled myself with the headphone cables to not watch you lose another fight. Oh, God, no. Uh, so I didn't really watch the video, I more listened to it. But yeah, mm. now, now that I understand kind of stats versus days and how obviously shittily he was playing the game. Well, funny you should mention. Uh, it brings me to my next point that I think you are going to... If you don't remember this, you're going to have an absolute fit... At what he said. Okay. Uh, he reckons there's no need to buy the gym equipment for your house. Well, I mean, that's just not true. That, <laughs> that's not. I mean, we've proven that by this playthrough. We've been in the gym once. Yeah. Now, I'm sure there are valid runs where you just go in the gym and you don't buy the equipment. But saying that the equipment is pointless is a big load of horse bollocks. It's a massive load of horse baloney. It's just I completely not true. agree with you. It's, it's, it's well. I mean, we've said it before, look at the stats on his playthrough with the stats and ours. Yeah. I, I mean, mean, he probably did the other one, the one where he completed it on his phone without the gym equipment as well, but, again, a crucial bit of information we don't know there is the day count. Mm. And that seems to me to be, like, the aim of this game. The aim of it isn't to get to the end. The anyone aim is to can get, get to the, the end, end as quickly as possible. Yeah. I mean, anyone can get to the end of this game. That's just a thing that will happen if you put enough time into it. Which, granted, would be very boring. Yes, agreed. But, yeah, it's it's about doing it efficiently and optimising it all and, and getting through it quickly, and that's that's where the fun is. Otherwise, it is just a grind, and I appreciate his points. Like If, if you mm. play it like an idiot and just slowly progress through the, the days, losing your stats at the end of them, it would be infuriating and boring. So don't do it like that, would mm -hmm. be my advice. Yep, uh, yeah, I completely agree. Completely agree. There's a bit that I didn't like where, in the video, he clearly didn't know what to do next. He was like, oh, well, I'm not sure what I should do. I should train. No, don't just not know what to do and train as a default. No, you have a plan, Biscuit. You, yeah. you play it properly. You have a plan, you have a strategy, and you execute it. He makes a big point about how there's basically no strategy at all in this game. Well, there probably wasn't to his playthrough. <laughs> <laughs> That's why at day 40 he had a third of the stats of us. Yeah, I mean, it sounds like you just kind of wandered around aimlessly, training a bit, doing a bit of work, losing fights, you know, like... That would ah, be boring. Well, ah, well, thank you for mentioning losing fights. That brings me to my next one. So there's a bit where he's chatting and he's saying how at, towards the end of the game he got stuck doing just the, the junior league or whatever it's called, the rookie league, um, because he'd lost loads of fights to start with and needed to win 20 or 30 fights in a row. 20 or 30? That, his words, he might be exaggerating. Um, now, I don't mean to be... This league, yeah? Yeah, this one. I don't mean to be uh, uh, a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> but whose fault is that? Definitely it's not, his. It's not, it's not the games. <laughs> like, right, I play Hearthstone. I'm not brilliant at it. I don't moan about Hearthstone being shit when I lose, like, a couple of games on the bounce. Or whatever. It's not the it, game's it just, fault. It just, yeah, sometimes it's, you, you take responsibility. That's my fault. I'll learn from them. We move on. It doesn't happen very often anymore. Hmm. Like, you can't just blame the game because you fucked up at the beginning and now you're paying the consequences for that. What would, you, what would he rather? Losing have no consequence? That would be a negative point in his video if it didn't. Yeah. Like, uh, that's the thing. Loads of the negatives that he mentions are completely avoidable if you're not crap. Yeah. Now, okay, we've we've ragged on him a little bit. And we've been a bit mean. We've been a bit nasty. Um, so I did. I have a second column in my list of notes. 
Okay. Which is it in TB's defence. I'm Not interested. Not tuberculosis's defence. No, that, that indefensible. TB is short for total biscuit in this instance. <laughs> Yeah, Do not compare Total Biscuit to tuberculosis, that's unfair. It's mean, isn't it? Yeah. All right. <laughs> compare it to an idiot. Now <laughs> we're getting closer. <laughs> but right, no, okay, we're on Total Biscuit's defence at the minute. All right. Uh, the story is a bit weak. The story is a bit weak. I will give him that. In it- fact, I would go further. <clears throat> the story's shit. Well, we've missed the story. We did it during our montage yeah, and we just we sacked just- it off. Uh, it gets weird, doesn't it? It gets all crazy. It gets, it gets stupid. Amulets and yeah, magical artifacts, mystical and stuff. MacGuffins, and that, that literally mean nothing. Yeah. In the grand scheme of things, it's just a it's a plot contrivance to get you to the next bit. But Which, I mean, you know, whatever. Kind of fine. I mean, it's nice when it, it'd be nice if there was a better story. I guess. So I, I, think, I will. I will concede. That I way. think that there isn't much of an excuse not to have a good story in something like this because of the way of the simplicity of the game's core mechanic I have no problem with that I have no problem with the simplistic mechanic and like the sort of the, the management of your stats and all that sort of thing as being the core core gameplay it's not a problem for me I, I think that they've done themselves a disservice by not trying to come up with something a little bit nice a bit cooler than there's I know what you mean. The, the opportunity was there. So things yeah. like in in your walking simulator games that you've got, if the core gameplay mechanic is fairly repetitive and boring, you want something else there to back it up a bit and and just make it a little bit more interesting. Yeah. So I, I will I will concede that point to him. That's fine. You can have that one. Uh, other ones I agree <coughs> with him on. Um, the fact that the muggers in the uh, game. Sorry, are... I'm just gonna I'm just gonna ex. ex- be annoyed at something. On we Cam, he's overtaken points. us. No, he's always been at the top. Oh, he's, right. he's a bit of a monster. But he, he's two points ahead of us, and that is preventing us going on a trip to Russia. Okay, well, right. sort that out. Uh, the fact that muggers are better than like ninety percent of the fighters in this game is a bit silly as well. Mm, you say ninety? That's not true. Yeah, it's more like fifty odd. I mean, you fight some of the muggers in the Ultimate League. Mm. Uh, there's one guy. There's one mugger. Yeah. who is better than 90% of the fighters in at least the early game anyway but he's that huge guy with a baseball bat and I'd argue that if you were that big if you were 7 foot and fucking huge and you had a baseball bat you'd probably be able to beat most of these guys so give I'd... the big show a baseball bat maybe not the big show because he can't move very well but... give younger Kane a baseball bat and he probably beats up professional boxers. Yeah, I mean, he's got a baseball bat. And, and the other ones, they're not better. They're better than some of the fights. They're about as good as silver, to be honest. Mm, and, yeah, that's, that's not great. Yeah. Well, okay. <clears throat> that, I mean, obviously, that's my... I don't have very much experience with the game first-hand. Mm. It seemed to me that the muggers seemed to be a lot better. We, we haven't seen them this way through, but again, we don't just play games with you guys watching, so... yeah, <laughs> Sorry to ruin the magic again. But yeah, I mean, you shouldn't really be getting mugged unless you want to, unless you're playing it badly. Mm. So, I mean, you avoid getting mugged if you play it incredibly well, like us, you know, yeah. as, as you by can see awesome. here. Or you pl- you avoid being mugged by playing incredibly badly and just not having enough money for the muggers to be bothered about you. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I don't know for certain, but I would wager it's the latter for, <laughs> well, for his experience. I mean, if, if he made the point about the muggers, he's obviously been mugged. Yeah. Okay, alright. Uh, well, um, the other point that I wanted to say in Total Biscuit's defence was he did call his character Buttercup, which is quite funny. <laughs> alright, yeah, well, uh, we'll give him that. I like the idea of a boxer called Buttercup. Um, oh, right. The biggest, <coughs> the biggest issue I had with the video mm-hmm. was the statement. I can't remember the exact words, but I'm mean, paraphrasing. That he suggested that it was objectively and that was his word it was objectively better to pursue the love interest I remember I this I lost my shit when he said that I did, I had to pause the video and bask Let in out my a fury shout of rage. yeah, because it's not, it's the opposite of that yeah. it is objectively worse so I think He's got a fundamental flaw in the way that he's thinking about the game. Okay. He his so I remember this quite quite distinctly. I knew it was going to upset you. I he, knew. 
he does because he's, he's wrong. <laughs> he's doing it wrong. He says it's, it's objectively better because it costs nothing. Yes. Right? It doesn't cost money, granted. Correct. What it does cost is time. Yes. Time in this game is the most valuable resource you get because you spend it to get anything else. You nice. can't... So I mean, I, mean I suppose that's true about, like, I mean, everything. But, yeah. <laughs> but like, it's yeah. it's recorded here. This is your time. Like, it, it's measured and you want to keep it low or else yeah. your stats go down and you get bored. Like, if you waste time doing shag all, basically, then your stats are going to go down and it's going to piss you off. I'd be annoyed if my if I wasted all the time and my stats just kept going down. Mm. It'd be infuriating. Mm. So, all in all, not my favourite WTF is of all time. No, um, I, I, mean, I, I do, I do like his videos. I do find him entertaining. I just think he's he's completely missed the point of this game. And no, this particular one. But well, you know, <clears throat> so look, I am more on his side than you are. I know my list of things doesn't suggest it, but I can see where he's coming from. Where he calls this game, like my words, were intolerably dull. Is how I would describe some of my experience with this game. It's one of the reasons that I don't have absolutely zero urge to play it because I don't find the beauty in this efficiency thing that you do. But you know, horses for courses, isn't it? Yeah. You like this kind of game? There's obviously an audience for it. I mean, there's there's quite a big audience for it. I think at, at the end popular, he he exclaims that it's a. Uh, Inexplic- inexplicably popular mm. and I was thinking no, I, well, yeah it's... you see I disagree with that I think the reason it's popular is very explicable yeah like it appeals to the minds of lots of gamers out there because gamers in general are logical mm-hmm. intelligent people I don't, I don't think that's unfair wow <laughs> you've not played Call of Duty online in a while have you that's different it is different <laughs> right? it is completely different Call of Duty's not a game anymore <clears throat> yeah an abscess. It's like a <laughs> hollowed out husk of humanity. Oh, and it's annoying that Damn, publishers did, did you just check that chase out? Did it. you check that alliteration? Hollowed out husk of humanity. Oh, damn. Badass, man. Where's my writing contract? <laughs> We're YouTubers now. Mm-hmm. You Famous. get a book, isn't that what happens? I saw PewDiePie had a book when I was in a bookshop the other week. Yeah, you get to be on South Park episodes too, man. It's all, it's all on its way. Uh, you know what? <clears throat> Fair fucks to the bloke. I can't stand his videos, personally. PewDiePie, ladies. I find him too shouty. Yes, he's far too shouty. He's, he's just... He's loud, and it's the same reason I struggle to work with Americans in our company. <laughs> they're, they're very loud, they're just... and it's just like... Settle down, guys. We're, that's generalising again. Yeah. There's some quiet Americans. It's, it's, <laughs> there the are. problem is you can't hear them over the loud ones. <laughs> just, I mean, you know... But before we move on yeah, from Total okay, Biscuit, go on. I've I, got, you've got some more. I, d- got some more I do have a few more bits to say because I I strongly disagreed with a lot of that video and I don't think you've uh, you've struck all of the points that I want to. Okie dokie. So well, I think it's only fair that we hand over to the resident Punch Club expert with his dissection. So one of my points is that he says the only strategy you have in the fighting is what skills you choose at the start of the fight mm, yes I would argue that's not true in the slightest okie doke you the entire game is the strategy for the fighting everything you do outside of it is I'm not playing yeah yep. Uh, no I'm with you I'm with you now yeah I'm no I'm, like, I'm there this is such this a small this bit is secondary that this is, is tiny this this is what you can do to influence the fights and that's done outside of the fight and the so skill I, points maximising the skill points it's massively oh, unfair to say that he, um, he, he says that there's no sense of urgency I would say the sense of urgency is the very reason that he hates the game he's very bored because he's had no sense of urgency and yeah. he's just played it really slowly let all his stats drop and spent probably 200 plus in game days and god knows how many out of Actual game real hours, hours yeah. yeah like just wasting time I'd be bored if I wasted time everyone would be bored if they wasted time it, it's a waste of time uh, yeah it, thus giving rise it, to the expression 
waste of time. It's almost by definition that yeah. he is bored yeah, because exactly he is right. wasting time. He's got no one to blame but himself. Yeah, fair. Just get this going. Yeah, I mean, the, the bit at the end where he said that he's he's stuck in the, the league. He's like, oh, because it's got this point system. Yeah, it's a league. That's what leagues are. Yeah, league. it's, it's not a knockout tournament. Yeah. <laughs> See, if it had said rookie knockout tournament and there was a point system, he'd have a, he'd have a grievance. Yeah. But you're right, that is how a league works. Like, it's, it's ridiculous. I mean, the losing point isn't usually how a league works, but... Yeah. <laughs> So uh, God, you're battering this lad. Well, obviously, because we're doing it correctly. Yeah, obviously. I mean, he talks about the the end of the game, which I, I won't spoil for you. Is um, it, it, so I mean, to to qualify this statement, the end of the game is probably the most boring and grindy bit. But he says that's the only bit that's a true management simulator because that's the bit that you have to. Um, that's the bit that you have to look at your options and, and make decisions and, and you can go and like do a film or you can throw a party and stuff. And that and he says, and you have to make real decisions and that's why it's a management game. That's the entire game. The mm. whole game is about making decisions. Especially since you can't have any influence on the combat. That's Decisions are pretty much all you have. So, stop moaning. How far away are we from Russia? Not far, not far. Let's do a bit more training, shall we? Have we got anything else to say, or can we let TB off? Well, he he says it's an insult to the to the player's intelligence to disguise it. He keeps describing this game as a clicker. It does, doesn't it? It's not a clicker. We, t we just covered this in our first episode. It, it is an Asian dating simulator. It is an Asian dating simulator. Learn your fucking genres, biscuit. <laughs> but so I, I've not. I mean, this this might be me rather than than him. But I'm not familiar with what a clicker is. Is that the the you like your Simpsons tapped out and all those boring iPad games where it's? I don't know, Nick. I don't play them. I assume it is. Because, I mean, I think one fundamental difference between this and, and those type of games is the fact that they're clearly designed for microtransactions. Right? I mean, yes. they're designed by businessmen that have put a small layer of gameplay over over what is essentially a, a money-generating machine. This doesn't have any sort of pay X amount of money to boost your stats by one or to do the next fight immediately. So there's a fundamental like, different ethos behind this game. That just it means it's not a clicker. Yeah, I, I guess if if I'm if I'm if, understanding the, right. the definition. Uh, of the... Honestly, I'm not sure. Um, but I mean, what else could he mean? I don't know. I mean, I know there's a cookie clicker game, a cookie and clicker. that was to do. Ah, oh, can't. It's been bloody ages. The, it, I remember Jim Sterling did a video about it yonks ago now. I think the reason I'm thinking about this is because there is a sequel coming out, but I think I think you're right. I think a clicker is a game in which the the game itself is controlled only by mouse clicks, and there's no there's no kind of there's very little player input in what's happening on the screen. Well, I, mean, I guess it's a strategy but, game, right? It requires yeah. no. Dexterity you know. of any kind, and, and you know me, I, I love a bit of dexterous in, in my games, but uh, yeah. but, but no, it, uh, it's a different type of game. Yeah, it's it's a thinking man's game. And it, he's he's got he's just got the whole opinion on the game wrong. He is it's an insult. <laughs> he's got he's got his whole opinion on the game <laughs> wrong. You might want to clarify that a little bit. Okay, there, <laughs> that was an incorrect statement. Yes. <laughs> See, we retract our incorrect statements. Let's see if Total Biscuit <coughs> will retract some of his incorrect statements. Mm. I don't think he will, after Mr. High and Mighty 2.1 million subscribers. <laughs> Please don't come at us with hate. I like, Genuinely, I like most of his videos. I do too, which is why I'm so disappointed that he didn't yeah. get this at all. Either. I was excited to think, hear what he said, and then he started. I was like, oh dear. Oh boy, are we in for one here. Hmm. But it, 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 it's not an insult to the player's intelligence. It's not an insult to your intelligence to disguise a clicker as a management game, as he says. It, it's, it's bollocks. 
An insult to your intelligence is calling him a, a cretinous ball bag. That's an insult. Yeah. Not this game. Right. So it's not an insult to his intelligence, though, is it? That's just a straight-up insult. I think those those are two different things. It had cretinous in the word. It did. It did. Yeah, true, 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 true. <laughs> I, I don't like the way... So, I, he makes a point about it... About games in general. He, he sort of talks about how... It, they're all about raising bars or, or raising numbers mm-hmm. and and then he sort of breaks games down to the to the fundamental level and says yeah he mentions about doom yeah about how doom's just making sure that your bar doesn't get to zero and making sure the enemies does yes which I think is terribly re- I mean he even says himself that it's reductive but like that's beyond reductive but he, he doesn't he does so he, he claims about it it being reductive and says it's all about the process. It's mm. all about the process through which you you raise bars, which sort of makes sense when you first listen to it and you think this is quite a boring process of raising bars, whereas Doom, fun. Yeah, there's, shooting there's, demons. There's going on. But I would argue it's not about the process by which you raise the bars. It's about the feeling that you get whilst executing that process. And I think if you play this game in a really boring slow way where you're just doing boring shit and losing your stats every day and not really progressing you're gonna get frustrated you're gonna get bored mm. but if you're playing it like this and you're sort of thinking right what's my next step what how do i how do i optimize this next bit how do i quickly get to the next bit of the game i find that quite fun i think it's it's quite fun to think about how to do the game correctly i mean i'd get bored if i was playing it the way he does it's about how you feel when you're executing the process. Yeah, you I see, thought. I am more on his side here at this point. Really? Because, well, as I've said, I think I might have even said it in one of our videos, your essential uh, thought process when playing pretty much any game is how to make these numbers bigger. Yeah? I think I phrased it better last time, but I can't remember my exact phrasing. I might have to go back and find it. I had a very specific phrasing. Um... Something like these numbers need to be higher. Something like that, anyway. Uh, so you're, you you have a drive for, in these games, the most efficient way to achieve those numbers becoming higher. Yeah. When I'm playing I a game like it. that, I don't feel that urge, which is why I think this game doesn't appeal to me. However, because I've known you for as long as I have, you, I mean, there's, what, 7 billion people on Earth? You can't be alone. Obviously, you're not alone, because this game's got quite a lot of followers. Mm-hmm. Um... So I think he, I think you're right, essentially. Um, but I can see where Total Biscuit's coming from in that. Well, to people who don't think like you, this game comes across as incredibly dull. Well, yes, and I, I think you've you've validated my entire point there by saying that you don't feel the same way about getting the efficiency and, mm. and getting the optimization and playing, and that's why you don't enjoy the game as much. It's all about how you feel about the process that you're executing. If we were to play this game, we'd execute the same process, but we'd feel differently about yeah. it, and I think that's what drives enjoyment in video games. Yeah. And that's why it's all subjective, right? I mean, that's yeah, no, I, think, I think you, I think you, I think you. Get on something then. Uh, why are you talking to? Oh yeah, a thin Marlon Brando. Yes. Yeah, so this is this is the crime done. Sorry, I'm I'm, I'm lost in my rant. I'll uh, I'll, I'll settle down now. Um, we are we're talking to this this crime lord dude, and mm-hmm. and we're gonna go to Russia. Oh, okay, um, cool. I can't actually remember how we bloody got to Russia. Uh. We do something in this. Uh, I'm, I, like I said, the story's quite crap. It's lacking. I think would be a nice way of putting um, it. It's not that whatever option you clicked, it's not that one. So it's not the top one. So let's say we want to work for Dawn. It was about getting your. No, no. We want to get our amulet back. Yeah, we, we do want to get attention. Our All right. So bottom option is to do with the ultimate league, which I think results in going to prison. Okay. Cool. I've, I've not done that bit ever, so we might do that blind. Oh, I've not done that bit ever. Yeah, yeah. There, there are there are bits of this game that I've not done because they're inefficient. Uh, well, yeah, <laughs> but yeah, prison sounds quite fun. So maybe we'll do a, a cheeky special. Prison after does sound fun. Hmm. So what do we need to do? Oh, I remember what we need to bloody do. We've got this tournament. We're not going to Russia. We have to win this tournament first. I was promised Russia. Oh my god. Yeah, he's like that guy's. St- well, I mean, okay. We've he's only got better in one start. I think we've got him. We've got a bad roll though. Like so, Draxon and. Bill... Oh my god, Davis. look at that guy's strength. Yeah, like the game, it kicks it up a notch now. Yeah. Jesus! Mm-hmm. 
So, so let's get cracking. We need to get training, man. We've got we've got shit to do. Right. Well, <laughs> but this this might seem boring, this next. Yeah, I was gonna say. So, uh, <laughs> remember how we were moaning about? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I hate that. I hate when I uh, when I start training and see that the thing's not full and I'm frantically clicking to get off it. Hmm. Yep, again. Yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah, so, we're, we're, we're probably unlikely to get to Russia. Oh, what? Next... Oh, um, update on the whole rock band for Mad Cats. Uh, top brass resigning. All right, yeah. Uh, they're sacking over a third of their workforce. What? Yeah. Third of the staff just gonna get sacked because Rock Band did shit. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Uh, Thirty-seven percent, I think, is the figure that's being bandied about, which is um, awful. Yeah, poor guys. Yeah. I wish you guys the best because that's that's sucky. Hmm. I haven't played a rock band game for ages. No. It, it, it I don't think they were working they our flat. I think we'd annoy the, the downstairs neighbours. We're probably annoying them now. No, I mean, I think, like, <laughs> banging on the ceiling with a broom handle sort of annoying the downstairs <laughs> neighbours. Like. The drum kit would drive them mad. I think, I think the p bass pedal on the floor, on this laminated floor, would just be the worst. Mm. We, we'd have to put the uh, washing machine on every single time <laughs> we wanted to play. Which, again, is inefficient. And we know how we don't like that. Yeah, we're not putting the washing machine on while we play rock band. Stop you. Yeah, it seems silly, doesn't it? So, in all seriousness, because I know we've had a pop at Total Biscuit, and while I may be more on his side than you, I'm still not in his camp. Yeah. How long have we got left of this? Because I am starting to get bored. Um, I mean, in general, like episodes. Do you reckon? Um, I want to play other things. I'm gonna go with either two long ones or, or three short ones. Okay. Yeah. But I mean, I enjoyed the montage. I mean, the montage was fun. I feel bad because I feel like it's sort of validating his point, but he, he did have a lot of valid points, so I, I I feel kind of fine granting that to him. Yeah, he did have. A it lot is of a bit. Yeah. It, it is a bit grindy, but. I enjoy it. Yeah, fair. Alright, we need to stop training now. Why? Uh, they're all unmaxed. For oh, want of a better term. <laughs> unmaxed. The worst thing is I knew what you meant. <laughs> it's worrying. So, did a bit more reading about this... Uh, Games thing that we're going to in a couple of months, a couple of months, a couple of weeks. Yep. I think the Street Fighter Five might be competitive with other people, Good. which is <laughs> worrying. We'll wreck them. No, we won't. <laughs> do you know the kind of people that goes to these things? I like, do. <laughs> that we will literally be walking out of there like we've shit ourselves. <laughs> Especially since we're definitely drinking beer before we go in. Oh, beer. Mate, yeah. I'm getting smashed. Shake your hip flask. Yeah. Let's get wrecked. Yeah, man. Okay. Get wrecked and go on uh, Total War Warhammer. I'm well looking forward to it. That's such a shit name. Total War. You guys War. suck. You know, from now on, we're just calling it Total Warhammer. Yeah, I keep making that uh, <laughs> resolution and then breaking it immediately. <laughs> That's the problem. See you know what I'm saying? You know, you give your name a bloody, you give your game a bloody shit name. Anyway, Final mm. Fantasy Nines on phones. That's new, ish. Um, I played Final Fantasy Six on my phone. Yep. You know, I think I would have preferred to play it on a console, just because the controls are obviously not ideal for phones. But yep. despite that, I had a fucking good time. I've heard it cost thirty. Uh, it Final Fantasy Nine cost thirteen quid on iOS. Mm, bit so, much considering I've no. already bought it like three, three times. times yeah, probably. I, say, I think I bought it three as well. <laughs> Great game though, like. Oh yeah, God yeah, yeah, it's a great game. Don't regret any of the purchases, but I think thirteen quid to get it it's on the phone and be a bit much. It's 
especially since I'm pretty sure that I bought 7, 8 and 9 on the PS3 for 20 quid in total. Yes, I got the same deal. Mm. And it, it just wouldn't be as good on the phone. I mean, 6 sort of worked on the phone because it was all 16-bit graphics. They, mm-hmm. it, it doesn't need to be good. But imagine watching the uh, the Alexander Barhammer cutscene. On your tiny little phone. It, 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 well, this cack. is the thing, because I think we're, we're behind the times with our phone technology. Yeah. Uh, so, well, mine know, doesn't play this. Yours doesn't play this. Mm-hmm. I bet mine could. I'm slightly further ahead of you. Yeah. <laughs> but not up to date because I don't see the point. I'm due a new phone, though. Uh, oh shit! We've got a, we've got an important fight here. Oh Jesus! We actually do. Mm. Uh, this is your da- your Draxon. Yeah, he's Draxon? like pretty much the. Is that going to be a reference to something? I have no idea. Seems odd. But yeah, he's like the pretty much the hardest guy in this league. Him and, and B- Bill, what's his name? So he doesn't look very hard. Yeah, we're kind of wrecking him, battering him. Oh, and yeah, stamina's not looking great. No, it's about the same as his though. Mm, yeah. all right. I reckon we've got him. Yeah, it looks, looks fairly sewn up. That counter-attack move seems a bit broken. Yeah, it's awesome, isn't it? Uh, again, another one to add to the in-TV's defence list. Uh, agility does seem overpowered. Yeah. Like, so, I mean, again, I don't want to bring the conversation back to it, but, you know, I, I do, so I'm going to... Um, <laughs> <laughs> he says that the balancing is all wrong, and that is that is fair. I will concede that point. This is the best way to do it, but that's fine because this is the best way to do it. So do it this way. Like, mm. I know, I know what you're thinking, and I'm I'm sort of in agreement with you, despite how much I I don't want to be. Okay. Um, yeah, like. You should be able to play the game different ways, but I like the the process of finding the best way and doing that. I do it in RPGs as well. Like, I I, I find the build that works the best, like Final Fantasy games, and then I just do that and just win. Yeah, yeah. We have fundamental differences. Oh my wow. god. Is that 60-something? 60 68? Yeah. 68, 63? It was 68 or 63. <laughs> yeah, wow. I just imagine you like you doing that to him, throwing the $20 on his unconscious body, <laughs> and just as he starts to come to, you're climbing out the ropes and you go, yes, yeah, see you tomorrow. <laughs> it's a really weird relationship you have with that guy. That's another thing that I, I find quite charming about this game, just how extreme everything is, at least uh, in the way that I play it. We, we we do training sessions that last for 48 hours. We used to yeah. do pizza deliveries for, again, two days on the trot. That is true. That is true. <laughs> it's, just, it's just a funny situation. Should we go and beat up an alligator while we're talking about funny situations? Um, we should do something. We're 40 minutes in and fuck all's happened. Um... So, news that I wanted to bring up last time we were doing a Punch Club one, but we got distracted. Alright. Uh, the Binding of Isaac has been rejected from the iOS uh, because of its depictions of child abuse. What? Yeah, that's right. So, I mean, the first thing that comes to mind is... Which fucking idiot made the decision to say no to that well, proven cash cow? Tyrone Rodriguez has tweeted a thing. Right. And it says... Uh, iTunes Connect My Apps, The Binding of Isaac. Uh, details. Your app contains content or features that depict violence towards or abuse of children, which is not allowed on the app. Now, interestingly, if you pop onto the old app store, I'm just going to quickly do that now. Bear with me. Of course, if this blows in my face, I haven't tested this before we came on on the video, so if this goes wrong, I'm going to look like it's hit. Wow, live and exciting. Isn't it? Flying by the seat of our pants here. Right, bam, the Bible. I'm just going to search the Bible in the App Store. Oh, look at that, the first thing, the Holy Bible. Uh, Bible Life Church Get, which I think is just... Yeah, uh, the, there's the King James Version of the Bible there. 
There's an interactive version of the Bible there. Now, the reason I wanted to search that is because anyone who knows anything isn't stupid, like the people at Apple are apparently. Binding of Isaac is based on a story from the Bible. Yeah. Like, the setup, I mean. God speaking to a parent, saying, to prove your love to me, sacrifice your child. This is the story of Abraham. This happens in the Bible, in the Old Testament, in which the Ten Commandments are. Yeah. Like, not just a minor bit Sorry. of the Bible that in no one knows about. the Ten Commandments. Like, it, what? Look. Blah. That's not a minor bit of the Bible that people have forgotten about either. That's that's quite key. I mean, it's quite a way away from the Ten Commandments. It's not like the next page, by the way. We have these rules as well. We're talking quite a distance. But the, my, my point is that you are quite happy for people to read about depictions of child abuse that are, by the way, sanctioned by a god you're trying to tell us is real, as opposed to, you know... She's obviously delusional in this. And, what's more, the whole game is about Isaac overcoming that. Yeah. Becoming strong, becoming self-reliant, that throwing was... off the shackles of her oppression. That was going to be my second point. It's about you Ugh. not being abused. It's about you essentially preventing child abuse by running away from it. It's, it's a good message. Stupid. Like State your app store. I mean just from a business perspective as oh, well. Oh, God, yeah. I mean, exactly. I've gone straight to the moral thing, not to mention somebody going, you've seen how much this has sold on every other platform? You're going to say no to all of that money? You guys are done. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure they don't need it, but still. I think if someone, someone's what, boss gets sorry, shown figures... What business says, no, thanks, we've got enough money now? Fair Absolutely point. none. Ever. Yeah. I mean, I'd quite like to rant about this a little more, actually. Yeah, man. go ahead. Because there are there have been I've read kind of articles and interviews, or well, not interviews, but uh, things with people who have suffered child abuse and have found Isaac to be a thoroughly uplifting experience. Really? So, where where are you getting off, guys? I guess that like. For an app store, the way that it works, because people can just upload stuff to it. I assume. No, it's got no, it's got to go through an approval process. Otherwise, how did this get rejected? I'm pretty sure the Apple one has an approval process, and the Google Play Store does not. Okay, so the approval process is where this has fallen down. It doesn't make any sense to me, because surely context is everything. Yeah. Like. See Jim Sterling Child Abuse Simulator, or whatever it was called, Domestic Abuse Simulator. That was just weird. Now you see, that what it, I see evil would be closer to the word I would use. Fair. I think it was, like, awful, genuinely hideous. I cannot... In every way. I, I just can't understand what was going through the developer's head when they, like... Both began, continued, and, and finished, finished that game. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and didn't play it like after saying, "Right, first rough build. Let's uh, let's have a go." Yeah, I'm a fucking monster and need professional help. Like they... that was my response. Watching the video was, "This guy has a problem and needs professional help." Yeah, like there. Are... I, I I do not believe for one second he's ever actually been abused. By the way, if you watch this, uh, have we covered this on a previous video? I feel like I'm repeating myself. I don't know. We we I get confused. About I'll keep what we've it brief. About. I'll keep it brief. That's all I'll say on the matter. Because frankly, I don't think that dev should have oxygen, let alone the oxygen of publicity. So <laughs> we'll just leave it in that shot. You just wished a man died, Matthew. Yeah, you I just did. wished death on a mentally ill man. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I don't blame you. Releasing toxic waste like that into the public. Just, you know. Uh, but it, d it, didn't he say it's satire? Yeah, I didn't get that. I think it's he not just. not satire. You, yeah. you don't understand what the word satire means. What are you satirizing? Yeah. <laughs> like child abuse? I mean. <laughs> well, you're not, because you're just depicting child <laughs> yeah. abuse. You do sat understand that just showing something isn't satirizing it, right? <laughs> so. He's not satirising child abuse, he's just depicting it. And is it cool to satirise child abuse? You know, <laughs> no! No, it's not, you're right! <laughs> yeah, let's make light of this really... Look, I mean, look, you can joke about whatever you want, but I have the right to say that you joke shit. 
And yeah. that joke was shit. <laughs> it was shit. <laughs> I, I think you'd be generous calling it a joke. It, yeah, it wasn't a joke. Again, it was just a fiction. There was no joke. I like bad taste humour as much as the next guy. Hmm. I'd seen Frankie Boyle live, for goodness sake. Laughed like a drain pretty much the entire time. But, you know. You take it. Like, the trick is, he's not being serious. Yeah. <laughs> and the thing is, like, there are jokes there. You know. Yeah. It's, uh, it's funny. Here we are. Right. Oh, we'll, we'll smash this guy, I'm not concerned. His agility is too low. Okay. Although it is six times until this gets in. Let's leave him alone. <laughs> I know, I feel bad. I do like the, I do like the videos. I do. I, I think I'd probably like him as a person, maybe. Uh, he believes he's on hype a bit. Uh, much. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think I would if he acts the way he does in his videos, but he, I can guarantee that he won't act the way he does on his videos. So yeah. he'll, be a, he'll be an actor. Be a, a I mean, that, that was another thing that annoyed me. The tone of his videos was very much like a I am correct and all you lot are daft for liking this game. Yeah. And all the way through, I was just thinking, you're, you're not seeing it. You're just you're being silly. Yeah, I would. Um, we have nice. so much money. Oh my god, we are we are we are beyond. How did rich. we win? I thought that was. I didn't think that was the final. Uh, maybe the game was just like, nah, this guy's too good. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Oh, so we can go to Russia if you want. We can we can finish in Russia. Well, uh. We've been going for 48 minutes. All right. We should probably finish in Russia. So anyway, uh, while you're while you're finishing this up, did you uh, did you leave a like on that total biscuit video? I left a dislike on our behalf. Yeah. <laughs> Have that biscuit. If that is your real name. You see, that was a joke. Did you see how I did a how I did a joke there? <laughs> Tie that back to the last conversation we were having. See. I broke our leg. What? Oh! Well, what? Well done, right? So. Oh, uh, so it's like. I remember this, but I don't want to spoil you, but you, re you remember our best mate, Roy? Oh, yeah, the one that we decided was irrelevant, so ignored. Yeah. Yeah. Well. He's, why does he find Zangief? Oh, dear. He's called Ivan. Oh, he is actually Zangief. Okay, cool. Yeah. Let's do it, bro. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. I mean, the game made a big deal about Roy. It seems that Roy's got the shaft. Mm. It's like you're dead now, Roy. Fuck off, mate. And the game was really pushing you to like. Roy. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? So, so the idea is, Zangief killed our mate. Now we're going to fight him. But yeah. We're less bothered about our mate, and we're more bothered about a medallion that literally meant nothing to us, like twenty days ago. Yeah. It's we're, so we're, like a month ago we heard about a medallion. All of a sudden, that's like our driving force and motivation in the world. Yeah. yeah and and then our our mate shit. died. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Like, <laughs> It, it seems like they've put so much effort into the way the game mechanically works, and then Roy doesn't fit into that. Yeah. Like, you don't you don't speak to Roy, but they really push him as a friend, and now he's dead, and, like, I guess two things that we don't care about are being pushed as things that we really do care about, and now we're in Russia, and we're going we're gonna to fight Zangief. And it's, like, it's like the WWE <laughs> pushing Roman Reigns. Things that people don't care about, <laughs> they're going to force you to like anyway. Yeah, the wrestling joke for you guys. I keep throwing little wrestling jokes in because for some reason, if you go on our channel and look at related channels, what culture wrestling comes up? I saw that as well. I thought that. So was... I, I figure let's just drop a couple of wrestling lines in, see what, see what happens. Why the hell not? There was one. There was one for you. Anyway, so so we talked to him about fighting. Um, okay. So can we do a fight now? All right, we're gonna fight someone. We're gonna fight a poet. Sorry, I know where we're trying to finish. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Russian treaty. That's gonna be a thing. So we've gone to Russia. We're basically just gonna kick the shit out of people until we fight Zanke. Okay. And then we're gonna kick the shit out of him. Is he gonna do that spinning pile driver thing? No, he's not gonna get the chance. We're gonna dodge oh. it and punch him in the face. Fair. 
Like we're punching this one in the face right now. Yeah, you know the way he hasn't hit us. Mm. Uh, that's we're, we're bringing the pain to Russia. Okay. He hit you a couple times there, mate. Yeah, he did. He hit quite hard. I mean, I'm, I'm not worried. Uh, not looking at his stamina versus yours, I'm not worried in the slightest. Right, we'll, uh, we'll finish the video up after... Do you know what would be awesome? Fight. If you could, like, go online and fight with the people who played the game. With your with character? Your character, yeah. That'd be cool. No, because you just get some sad act who's like doesn't work, just sits and plays this for 40 hours a day. 40 mm. hours a day? Magic. And then That's 40 how hours sad a week. He is. He's so sad. He's so sad he's created more time in the day so he can spend it on Punchbook. Mm. Um, no, with the, he's got like 99 and all of his stats and all of the skills and all. I think they should make it so you fight people who are on an equivalent day count. What an excellent idea. Um, I think we're like gonna to we're gonna go down this route now. We're going to go down this route, we're going to get all these fellas, we're going to get Kick Dropper, maybe Slave of the Wind, I don't like it. That's been patched. That's been patched. Has it? Used to be eight. Oh, okay. Now it's nine. Well, still. Yeah. It's not enough, is it? No, it's not enough. Not enough for our power. Oh, okay, so it's like a, I'm going to be an agility man. Yeah, and then you get you do get some pretty cool moves. Now, hold on a minute, are you telling me... That in order to get cool things like Cobra Strike and Ninjutsu Fan and Controlled Fury, we have to lock our stamina at nine. Almost. You were right about the first two. Okay, we, we can, can get, get Controlled Fury with that. Oh, we can go Agility Focus, Rice Eater, then Control Fury. Yeah, oh shit, what am I... Uh, I think I made a mistake there. Rather than going Rain of Strikes, we probably should have went Kick Dropper, Agility Focus, and then got Rice Eater just to make our training more effective. No, oh, well, but, too late. You know, we'll, uh, we'll live. Right, we've been going nearly an hour now, we should probably wrap this up. Right, let's call it a day there then. We will see you next time for Russian Fun Time. Promise we won't talk about Total Biscuit, like, at all. Yeah, sorry about that. That, no. that, that got out of hand. Did a bit. But, you know, he started it, so... Yeah. Cunt. Bring it on. Total Biscuit fans will fucking have you. <laughs> I probably shouldn't say that it's got like 2.1 million subscribers yeah man like, imagine, imagine if they all rocked of... up with torches and pitchforks well like outside the flat yeah 2.1 million people <laughs> they wouldn't fit would they they would no, definitely not <laughs> they'd be all the way up Stratton Road yeah anyway we, we digress let's... we shouldn't have told them we lived in Stratton oh shit man we're dead right guys we're going into hiding see you later <laughs>